But this is a really cool way to do it. It's a lot skinnier than what we've been doing before. You see what I'm saying? I've been able to fit 12 machines up here in... They need to fix that. Jukes! Boom, baby! Sit down! Oh, I've got such a good idea. We'll be right back. Turn around. Oh, boom, baby! <laughs> What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight yet again, and yet again, we are back on Satisfactory. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is Katerium Factory Day. I'm super excited about this because we can finally get our Katerium going and everything else. Um, we get our quick wire going. Now, we're only going to set up just really uh, a, a Katerium... Um, factory that does a ton of quick wire and that's mainly because uh quick wire and katerium really isn't used to craft anything inside anything that's just straight katerium i should say you know uh, with uh with our iron ore and our uh our, our uh what was the other one? Copper ore and stuff like that. We have quite a bit of different things that we can actually craft. But when it comes down to Katerium, there really isn't a whole bunch of different things that we can craft with it. So we're just going to set up a Katerium. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd you come from? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I get to eat food. I got to eat food. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd he go? Are you going to turn around? Come here. Okay, as I was saying, so we're just going to set up a Katerium factor. We're just going to be doing quick wire and everything else like that. Um, and that's all we're going to do. And if we need to, like, you know, run anything um, from the quick wire area to something else to craft a final uh, a, a final material or whatever, then we can go ahead and do that later. But we're just going to do Katerium. Now, up until this point, when it comes down to our splitters, where is the way out? When it comes down to our splitters and our mergers, we've done everything a cert well, two certain ways. And today I'm gonna just to throw you know something else into the mix. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently, and we're kind of we're gonna kind of see how it works out. It, I think it's actually gonna end up being a lot more efficient. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm out just getting uh, getting a bunch of power slugs and stuff like that because we're getting a little bit low when it comes down to power uh, to power shards and overclocking shards or whatever else they're called. So I'm out here getting some power shards. I'm gonna head back to the base and we're gonna go ahead and start the Katerium uh, factory. All right, so we are back at base. Now, what we're gonna do is before we do this, I'm gonna, I before we start the factory, I'm gonna go over like the pros and cons of the way that we've been doing it with our splitters and mergers. And there's two different ways, like I said before, and I'm gonna go over those uh, in a second. But first, we need to, well, basically, you remember last episode where we did the, the quartz and the sulfur? We have been able to craft crystal oscillators. We've got a hundred of them and a few more stacks of a hundred up at our factory. So we need to scan our crystal oscillators right here, right now. Now, this is going to take quite a while, 22 minutes. So we're just going to go ahead and go do our Katarian factory. But this is going to open up the radio tower. Okay, and I'll kind of show you that in, I don't know if I'll actually open it up in the hub. Uh, but I'll show you that in a little bit if we have time. Okay, so first let's go over the different ways that we've done our splitters and our mergers, and then we'll go ahead and start the Katerium factory, and I'll show you the new way that we're going to do it. So to start off with, basically we've done the same thing every single time. The MK2 goes into a splitter, which splits it into three or two, and then it goes into our smithies. Okay, now there's two types of ways that we've done it so far. The first way is what I like to call an inline factory and basically what it is is each one of your smithies is connected directly to a constructor okay and that is really really nice when you want to really have a lot of control when it comes down to your smithies and your constructors how much your smithies are being overclocked how much your constructors are being overclocked and how much they're producing per line okay then you've got this way which the ore is pretty much set up the same way however i like to call this the bulk um, way of crafting and basically the bulk way of crafting is all of your smithies aren't connected directly to your uh, constructors and what that does is it puts out all of your ingots on one belt 
okay? And when it comes down to doing it this way, this is really nice because what it does is it actually helps you kind of, um, uh, it, it basically helps you, oh, I'm not gonna make that, am I? It, it helps you not to use so many overclockers and it also makes it so you don't have to overclock as many machines, okay? So basically what it is is the bulk of your ingots are coming on a, uh, on a belt and it's split up between all of your uh, constructors. Now the way that we've got it split up is it's just one splitter that splits it into three or splits it into two and then they go into the constructors. Now what's nice about this is you don't need to worry about your smithies downstairs. All you need to worry about is, is your total amount of ingots per minute on your belt. And then you need to add up all of your constructors and how much they're requiring. And as long as your total amount of ingots on your belt is over how much all of your constructors are requiring, then you're good to go. You don't need to worry about it. So basically, if I've got one constructor that's overclocked to 40 or overclocked to where it needs 40 ingots and I've got another one that isn't overclocked and it only needs 15, but it's receiving 30 then you don't have to overclock the one that actually, or you don't have to overclock any of the smithies downstairs to make that, to make up for that extra 10 that that overclock constructor needs. You see where I'm getting with this? But there's kind of a little thing with this, with this type of a setup, and it basically comes down to once this splitter splits it into two or three or whatever, those ingots are there. Once they've been split off, they're there and they can't be used except for the machines that they're going to. So they're not really being used efficiently uh, per se. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another style and this is what I like to call a recycled ingot or a recycled ore line, okay? And that's what we're gonna do with our, um, with our Caterium ore today, just to kind of mix things up and change things up a little bit. Um, and I'm hoping that I can get up here. So what I've been doing is I've been doing a little prep work. As you can see, there is now a platform up there, and that is where our Katarium stuff is gonna be going, okay? Super excited about this. We're gonna go over, we're gonna set up an MK2 miner over on our Katarium ore place, and I'll show you where our Katarium ore place is. I was really surprised how close it actually is. Um, there's our factory right there, and if we go over this direction, and we come up over here on the top of this mountain over here or the top of this crag or whatever you want to call it as you can see i've already put up some of our conveyor belt conveyor belt poles conveyor belt poles and i made a platform over here for our catarium and i love the way the catarium looks it looks like gold i mean it looks so pretty and it's not it's it's so hard to miss it is so hard to miss because it's like, whoa, yellow gold. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Looks just like gold, man. Okay, so this is where our Katerium is, and it's not far from our base. It's just right over there. So let's go ahead and fill these in. As you can see, I got a beacon here just to kind of remind me where the hell we're at. Let's go ahead and throw our MK Miner 2, and we're going to go ahead and set it right up here. Bada boom, bada bang, we're good to go. This bad boy is a pure node, so we're going to be doing 240. <laughs> Ran out of, uh, out of air. 240 Caterium per minute. We're gonna go ahead and throw our power up there, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw our power down there. Can this reach? It can reach, excellent. And then we're just gonna go ahead and run our belts very simply, very easily, all the way over to our Caterium ore place, which shouldn't be really too hard. And I think I got these separated out far enough where we should be a perfect distance across this, yep. Perfect distance across, and I can barely make this make this jump right here. Nah, actually, we're a little bit better than barely. Okay, so a couple more belts, and then we'll get on to our Katarium machines. Now, the setup for the Katarium machines is going to be basically almost exactly the same when it comes down to the actual machines. We're going to have six smithies in a line. We're going to have six uh, constructors in a line, and they're all going to be doing wire. That simple. Um, the only difference is 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 the I guess you could say the bad part of this is is this type of setup takes a lot more splitters and a lot more mergers. So if you don't like that, this probably won't work great for you. But if you do, then that's awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and start out by doing this. We're gonna go ahead and do. Uh, let's see. We need smelters. Pro correct. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, uh, smelters do, yeah, Caterium ingots. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off with our smelters. We're going to go ahead, start one there, and then let's go ahead and throw our constructor. Make sure our constructor will go through between these two bad boys right here. Yes, and it will. Barely. Holy crap, barely. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the constructors first because then I can get my, my smithies in line with each other a lot better and in line with the constructors even though they're not going to be connected directly to you know the the smithies themselves or the smelters or whatever else you want to call the smelter smithy smithy smelters okay so there's our constructors so now we can go ahead and do the rest of our smelters here so we'll put one there why does that have two lines that's odd Okay, we'll put one there. Come on, give me, why does it keep coming up? Oh, maybe it's a, no, it couldn't be because I only got, that's really weird that it has two lines like that. So one, two, three, four, and then I think we're gonna need two of them over here. By the way, guys, this jetpack, it, oh, it makes finding power shards or power slugs so much easier holy crap okay so let's start off with our ore now what this is going to do is it's going to recycle the ore so the ore is used more efficiently okay so i've gone ahead and i've set up to start with i've set up a merger and then i've set up a splitter so we're going to go ahead and do the splitter and the way we're going to do the splitters we're going to go like this we're going to go regular splitter and it's going to go from the right to the left okay from the right to the left. Sounds like a song. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go like this. All right. So now what that's going to do is it's going to make it so when we put in our belts, and I'm hoping these aren't too close together. What's going to happen is our ore is going to come in and it's going to go through our belt or through our merger and it's going to go through our splitters. And each one of these smelters is going to have its own splitter, which is going to go ahead and split off a little bit. And this is kind of just like the way we did our power. Now, once we get to the end, you're probably thinking, well, how does it recycle easily? We're going to come off the end of this. We're going to connect to that power pole. We're going to connect to the end of here. We're going to go all the way down to our merger down here. We're going to connect to our merger just like that. Okay, so that's a recycler. The ore comes in, it goes down through each one of these, it gets split off um, into the smithies, and we're on our way. It's that simple. I'm going to go ahead and put, now these are a little bit close. I don't know if it'll actually allow me to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and connect. I may have them actually connected wrong, but um, I'm going to go ahead and connect all of our splitter source melters. We'll be right back. All right, so all of our smelters are now connected to our splitters. Everything's good to go there. Let's go ahead and line up our ore over here and make sure that that works out properly. Okay, so it's gonna fill up the first one. We're gonna do Caterium ingot. I forgot to do Caterium ingots on all of these. All right, and it's going to go through, and as you can see, the recycle part comes back down here, and it basically stops the whole process by putting in recycled, uh, the recycled ore into that merger back there. All right, so that's good to go. Now we need to go ahead and set up this. Okay, so the way this is going to go, I got to make sure we can actually put those. Why is that so? No, we're okay. Okay, so this is a merger. Okay, this is a merger right here. Now, this merger is not going to be connected to this splitter over here, so don't let it fool you because mergers can be very tricky sometimes like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a merger. And we're just going to... Nope, that totally wasn't what I wanted to do. We're going to take a merger. And we're going to make it so it goes... So what the output is to the left and to the next merger. Okay, so we're going to do that there. And hopefully these are lined up nicely like this. I'm going to come over here, do the exact same thing over here. Uh, there we go. There we go. Once you get a whole bunch of mergers going like that, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so what we're going to do with the mergers is we're going to go like this. Now these mergers are going to connect all of our smithies. So the smithies just dump out their product or the ingots straight into a merger and onto a main belt right here. See that? 
Uh, sometimes you can be... I, I've made this really, really tight. And there's nothing wrong with tight as long as you can get it to actually work and you can get it in. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we're going to go ahead and go here and there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and on the other side, we're going to do splitters. So the splitters are going to come from the right on the entrance is going to be on the right and the exit is going to be on the left. And they're going to be right next to it. Right next to the to the mergers. So we're going to go ahead and do this. I know that it seems like there's a lot of lines when you're setting this up. You're you're like trying to put it down. You're like, okay, which line is where am I supposed to go with this? And what line am I supposed to go with that? And holy crap. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. Boom. And then what we're going to do is at the end. Okay, so we're going to start down here. This smithy is going to spit out. All these smithies are going to spit out into these mergers. Spit ingots out. Okay. And then at the very end of this line... All of the mergers are going to be connected to our splitters by just one belt right there. Okay, so all of the all of our ingots are going to come through and they're going to start being split up into each of our constructors like this. Okay, then once it gets down to the end, we're going to connect this splitter to this merger at the end and all of the ingots that aren't being used are going to come down and they're going to spin around here and they're going to go back into the merger main line. So basically what this does is it uses a lot more splitters and it uses a lot more mergers. But the nice thing about it is, is you're recycling your ingots. Okay, so you're not having half of your ingots sitting on this, on this, on these three constructors and the other half of your ingots sitting on these three constructors and these three constructors crafting like crazy and these three constructors doing absolutely nothing, holding on to a bunch of ingots that these ones could be using. You see what I'm saying? So... It actually makes it so each one of these constructors are offered all of the ingots until one of them takes one. Okay, so or I should say each ingot is offered to each constructor until one of them takes one. So it's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect all of our splitters directly to our, our constructors. But I am not going to be connecting any of our uh, mergers to our splitters. So don't make that mistake. I'll be back in a second. All right, so... Uh, everything's connected up, but basically what we need to do now is we need to take all of our ingots output or all of our, our quick wire. By the way, why do I keep forgetting to do this? Where's our quick wire? Quick wire. Six times, guys. I got to do it six times. So what we're going to do is once we're done with the quick wire, we got to put it all onto one belt. Uh, because we're not going to be making so much quick wire that uh, uh, MK4 can't carry all of it. So we might as well just put it on one belt. The way I'm going to put it on the belt is the exact same way that we've done it before for output. So we're going to go ahead and make our, make our merger go like this. And we're going to start with this one here. Make sure it's lined up. Okay. And then... Whoa! See, when you get a lag spike like that, for some reason, it shoots you like twice as high. It's crazy. Okay, so we're going to go this direction over here, and then that direction over there. So what we're going to do with these mergers is we're going to go ahead and put these down here. This one goes there. This one goes there. This one goes there. Right there. That one goes in there. That spits out into that one. And I have to make sure that I've got these belts going the right direction. Okay, so this one goes there. Okay, so on this right side, everything needs to be going out and to the left. On this left side over here, everything needs to be going out and to the right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so are these belts going the right side? Yep, they're going the right. Okay, so everything's going to be spit into this merger right here. And then we're going to come back down here. I've got, as you can see, I've got a drop down or a, a vertical conveyor coming down. We're going to go ahead and come back out with this. And we're going to try and make this as straight as possible because I don't like it when they're not straight. It's ugly. And we need to put it on the very end of this. Uh, is that the very end? It doesn't look like it's the very end, does it? No, it does not. Can we just go like this and maybe make something a little bit better? See if we can get this one to come out. Wait, let's do this instead. See if we can get this one to come out a little bit further. And go here. Ah, uh, get it. It's getting dark. I hate it when it gets dark in this game. It's bad for videos. 
Okay, and then we're gonna take a vertical conveyor and we're gonna go straight down. Hopefully it's not too bad out of the rock. Oh, no, really? Okay, no, we're good, we're good. I thought it was the rocks, but it's not the rocks. We're good, we're gonna go right through the freaking rocks. Cause we're just, we're boss like that. That's what we do. And this one is going to go way over there. And as you can see, that you might not be able to see because it's dark and I can't get on top of this stupid conveyor. I have made a conveyor line to our storage area up there. So I've got a storage all ready to go. We've got the conveyor line going. Let's go ahead and set up our power real quick. But before I do that, we are gonna wait till daytime. Man, this planet has some weird ass colors. I'm just saying. Okay, just to let you guys know, I've been doing my due diligence, okay? Every time we upgrade a new belt, I've replaced everything, all the belts in our entire base. We upgraded the MK2 poles the other day. I have replaced all of our poles with MK2s. Well, 99.9% .9 of them. Now, there's actually a trade-off when it comes down to doing that. You may have less conveyor or less power poles, but I've noticed that with the new ones, you have longer, you have more longer cables. Okay, so you get kind of a trade-off with it, but you do have a lot more longer cables when it comes down to it. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's here or there. It's neither, neither here nor there, but it really depends on what you like. Personally, I like less conveyor belt poles, and I like to be able to connect a whole bunch of stuff to one pole. Because now, normally we'd have like 12 freaking... Um, conveyor belt, belt poles connecting all of these things but nope not now we've got three well technically four if you talk if you you go over the main power thing well let's connect this main power thing let's get everything to start up one two three go yeah baby yeah oh i love it when everything starts up like that okay so you see we got ingots coming in and then we've got ingots going through and they should start getting recycled pretty soon here, but we got ingots coming out of our smithies, going through the mergers, make sure everything's working properly. Turn off my flashlight, because I don't need it. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I'm loving this, it looks good. Things are getting filled up, yes? So these are making 60 quick wire per minute, super excited about that, um, and they need, it looks like 15 katerium, and we're giving them like, a whole bunch more than 15 like crazy 15 so when this starts to overflow you're gonna see a lot more of these ingots going through the belt on the other side of here I might as well just land on top of here well you're gonna see a lot more ingots coming through there and then getting recycled through but this is a really cool way to do it it's a lot skinnier than what we've been doing before you see what I'm saying I've been able to fit 12 machines up here in an area that's probably just as big as the base of our um, of our, our our copper area you know what i'm saying so this is actually really really cool okay so let's make sure everything over here is coming down okay we got quick wire coming out all of this stuff is kicking out at the correct angles it's all going inside why is that one not kicking anything out it is excellent all right so everything's going down here oops a little bit of a lag spike there going down this one everything's coming out here perfectly all right yeah baby we got quick wire up and running now for those of you go you who stuck with me through the entire video because some people don't i'm going to give you guys a little treat don't tell the people who left early okay don't tell the people it's just for you guys first of all is this done yes it is Talky talky lady. These particular quartz based crystal oscillators are optimal for limited radar tower. Radar tower. RMD has provided. Okay, be quiet. Radar tower, ladies and gentlemen, reveals an area around itself on the map. The area grows over time to a max. Placing the tower higher up increases the max area revealed. So if we go into here, I may want to say, try and climb a mountain right here and then just watch to see how big it actually gets. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do some really fun stuff. Stuff. I have made a noblest detonator. I have made 40 <laughs> Noblesks and you guys remember what noblesks are right? That's right explosives 
Oh yeah, baby. I am loving that. Okay, so we need to blow, blow a few rocks up. There's a few rocks that are driving me nuts. The first one is actually on the other side at the lake up, up there. I'm going to try and blow up one of those, those whale dudes. Um... I don't know what else we're gonna blow up. I just got rocks like that are in the way that are driving me nuts. I want, I've been wanting to get rid of forever. And you know where the first one is? I'm gonna tell you where the first one. Is. I'm gonna show you where the first one is. Okay, so to use the noblesks, to use the explosives, you press R to reload to put one in your hand. I'm in the wrong area. I gotta come up one over here, and then we're gonna come up one over here. You see that rock? Oh, that thing's driving me nuts. Then you left click to drop it on it. And you run like hell, and then you right click. Boom, baby! And you don't have to worry about hurting your base because it doesn't. However, you can blow yourself up. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a thing. Get used to it. Okay, let's go have some fun. Oh, baby, oh, baby. There's a whale dude, but you know what? I feel bad for that dude. So we're not going to do that because this guy over here drives me ballistic. I want to see if I can actually get a noblisk on this freak. Okay, dodge. Right click. Wait, wait. Boom, baby. Oh, that didn't do anything to him. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Boom. What? Are you kidding me? It's explosives. How can that not kill him? Whoops. I got to actually right click or left click first. Uh, what just happened? I think he killed himself with his own fire. How was that possible? Okay, we got to try this. Everybody's been thinking, oh, I'm super excited about the Nobelisk and the explosives because guess what? We should be able to get rid of, you know, some of these, 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 these gas plants. Let's see if it actually works. Uh oh, it's not really on it. Nothing. Let's try to see if we can actually get it on it. Okay, it's on at that time. Absolutely nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot destroy the gas um, the gas trees with the explosives. I think everybody was super excited about having to be able to do that, and now we can't actually do it. Um, I know I'm not happy about it because I have to watch out what I'm doing over here, and I can't get too close over there. So that sucks. Okay, supposedly this thing blows up trees. The question is, how big is the area damage? I'm going to go ahead and put one right on this tree right here. Let me see how big this area damage is over here. Okay, there's a tree over there. There's a tree here. It got all of them. It got all four. It's got some pretty good damage, however, or some pretty good radius, I should say. However, these all survived out here. Not that that's a big deal, but that's a pretty good, you know, it's a pretty good swath. I'd say that's probably what? Gosh, stinking lag. That's probably what? One, two, probably two foundations in all directions. That's not bad. That's not bad. You know what? I know of a rock, of a cracked rock that's hiding a power, uh, a power slug. We're going to go get that power slug. Okay, where are you, Power Slug Rock? I think it's a Power Slug Rock that's over here. Is it you? Yeah, it's in the water over here. All right, let's see if this will actually work. Okay, so we're going to put you down there. Now I got to get away. Uh, I think I'm just going to go over here. Can we utilize this? in the water. No, we cannot. So basically, I have to go all the way to the freaking edge. I can't even rocket, jet rocket out of the water. That's stupid. That's dumb. We've only got 32 Nobelisks left. All right, here we go. Boom, baby. All right. Please tell me it's a blue one. It's probably a green one like usual. Yeah, it's a green one. You suck. Okay, I don't see any other, like, sparklies come. Why didn't these guys not break? I don't understand why these guys didn't break. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. You know what? Shut up. I'm trying to look at things. Oh, you suck. Oh, you want to go? Come on, boys. Let's go. Come on. I don't think I got any of them. Did I get one? Did I get two? Oh. 
Come on. Oh, come here. Come here. Just run over this way. Yeah. Oh, you just died. Hor Whoa. You just died horribly, my friend. You just died horribly. No, where's my freaking barrel nuts? Oh, come on. Where's this? Now I gotta get to the detonate. This, yeah, this hand thing isn't working properly. They need to fix that. Jukes! Boom, baby! Sit down. Oh, I've got such a good idea. We'll be right back. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody in here? Anybody in here? I believe there is. <laughs> Come here, you freaky little freaks. Come here. Can I do this? Can I do this? Which one? Which one? You? Yeah, baby! Oh, he's on my head! No, wait, 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 Where's he going? Where's he going? No, I gotta get them all to gather it up. Come here. Gather up, gather up, gather up, gather up, gather up. Get over here. No, come here. You get just that's it. We're blowing everybody up. <laughs> come on. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, boom, baby. <laughs> Ow. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming out to the channel and hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. We got a lot done today. We did our, our finally got our Katarium up, our quick wire, and we had a lot of fun blowing stuff up. That was awesome. <laughs> Nothing happened. That 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 was anticlimactic. Keep gaming, keep doing it, midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in. Wait, 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 wait a minute. That didn't work at all. That didn't work at all. Oh, good. No. Wait, let, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Ah! <laughs> keep gaming, keep doing it, midnight. Have a blast. See you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye.